Hi everybody, Chef Ellen back here with you again to do another fun cooking lesson. Today we're going to make summer rolls. It's a great way to use all of your fresh vegetables from your CSA share or from the farmer's market. And it's a wonderful thing to have on a hot day. You don't have to cook anything. So let's take a look at what we've got. shrimp. We're going to use these cool rice paper wrappers and we're going to look at some of our fabulous vegetables. I've taken a selection from what's available right now. So we have a komatsuna leaves which is a Japanese green, some arugula. We might even use some fennel fronds. We've got red cabbage and scallions and fennel, cucumber, carrots, summer squash, kohlrabi, my favorite, some mint leaves, some Thai basil, some regular basil, and we're going to use these fun mung bean cellophane noodles. So let's uh, get started and we'll assemble our first summer roll. We have this lovely rice wrapper. This is probably the trickiest part of this job is softening this wrapper and dealing with it. So you can see it's still quite flexible and stiff, but in a moment it's basically going to melt. One thing I've discovered is that if you moisten your hands to work with it, it's much easier. So we're going to assemble whatever we want in our um, wrapper and think about what it's going to look like when you put it together. I'm going to use some shrimp. I just simply boiled these and I cut them in half lengthwise. So I'm putting the, the nice side out. I'm just gonna take three of them and line them up. If you're a vegetarian, you're not gonna use shrimp, but you could also substitute some chicken for this. If you have any leftover chicken, you don't have to make anything special. I think one of the things that's really important when you're cooking is to realize that you may not have to go out and buy all sorts of special ingredients because you probably have most of what you need. So use what you have, especially if you have a share, a CSA share, or you go to the farmer's market. I'm just going to put on a various amounts of these things just randomly. I'm mixing the textures and the flavors. Some of these are crunchy, some of them are soft. And I'm going to put some of these really cool noodles over this. You could also use um, rice noodles. These are bean thread noodles, but I, that's what I had today, so I'm using them. I'm just going to assemble a, a, a few things. So I've got cucumbers and I'm going to put some mint. So when you roll it up, all of these things are going to be showing. I'm going to use this time, I'm going to use some pretty basil and I think I'll end with this beautiful purple cabbage. Okay, so it's, it's pretty random and just have fun with it. So I'm gonna wet my fingers so I can deal with this. You can see this wrapper, which is being a little stubborn. It's a little tricky to work with, but you can see how flexible it is. I'm just gonna stretch it over what I've got here. Wet my fingers, I'm going to Put that over there and this, and then just going to roll it up. All right, so there you go. A beautiful summer roll. So just finish making them 
line them up on a platter and it'll be a, make a beautiful presentation. You can see all the colors and the different textures. We're going to make a sauce now. If you make these a little bit in advance, probably keep them moist with a moist towel. Um, the recipe calls for a plastic wrap, but I've had really bad luck with that. It sticks pretty much to the rice wrapper. Anyway, let's get started on our sauce. We're going to make a peanut sauce. But for those of you who have peanut allergies in your family, there's a wonderful product called Sun Butter. It's a great alternative. It's made with sunflower seeds and it tastes so similar to peanut butter, you will hardly notice the difference. So it's a great choice. My recipe actually calls for a smooth peanut butter, but guess what? I only have chunky today. So we're using chunky. So I'm putting my three quarters of a cup of peanut butter in here. Where this is an assembly sauce, it's not a, uh, you don't have to cook anything. So this is a really great hot weather dish all the way around. I've got lime juice and hoisin sauce that I'm putting in here. I've got some sugar, a little sesame oil, some soy sauce, and a Chinese chili paste. This is the hot stuff. So if you don't want it too hot, then put a little less in or don't use it at all. But it does add a lot. I'm going to put in a clove of garlic that I'm squishing up with my handy dandy garlic squisher. And that's it guys. We're just gonna blend that all together in our, oops. There's a little water that we want to put in. I'm not going to put in all of it to start because as you know, you can always add more, but you can't take it away once it goes in there. So I'm just blending this with a whisk till it's nice and smooth. So that's a pretty good consistency without all that water. But if you want it thinner, you can definitely add it. Here we are with our finished product. We've got these beautiful summer rolls and our great sauce with its chunky or not, peanut butter or not. Just keep in mind that this is super flexible. You can use ingredients that you have. You hopefully don't have to go buy anything special and use leftovers. It's a great vehicle for leftovers like the shrimp or, the, or chicken. You could even use tofu for that matter. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for joining me again. This is Chef Ellen, come back for another one.